Impact Wrestling presents Emergence, streaming live Sunday, August 27th. Josh Alexander is the greatest exhibition champ of all time. Words of encouragement here for Chris Saban. Yeah. There you go. I can only imagine, folks. I can only imagine the wisdom that Chris Saban can impart to young Josh Alexander. What a great moment. I'm happy to have been a part of it with you, d with all the impact faithful. We're not, we're not done yet. And the prophets are streaming it. Whoa, whoa, What's going whoa, on? whoa, whoa. This is the music of X Division champion Josh Shalitzek. What do you make of that? I, mean, uh, I, I, don't, I don't know here. Josh was on Christian's team a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, I mean, I... See the puzzled look on Christian Cage's face. I mean, the respect that the champ commands in the locker room is, it's, you can feel it. It's powerful. Yeah, so, yeah absolutely. Bound for glory. Yeah. Option C. Oh, are you kidding me? Yeah. Yeah. You want to explain this? Option C is the X Division champion. He can literally surrender the X Division title for a championship match. So. Josh Alexander has to relinquish the X Division title yes. and graduate into a world title opportunity. And right here, when you invoke option C, you are surrendering the X Division title. Bound for glory, we can have Josh Alexander versus Christian Cage. Folks, hashtag Impact on Access TV this week is going to be can't miss television. For D'Lo Brown, I'm Matt Stryker. Thank you, and good night. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, in just nine nights, on Saturday night, October 23rd, Christian Cage defends the Impact Wrestling World's Championship against the number one contender, the man who relinquished the X Division Championship in favor of Option C, the walking weapon, Josh Alexander. Gentlemen, thank you for joining me here tonight for this summit, and we do appreciate your decorum as you guys answer some of these questions. Christian, as the Impact Wrestling World Champion, we'll start with you. You retired with some injuries seven years ago, only to return to AEW in what looks to be the best shape of your career. So the first question has to be, how satisfying was it to pin Kenny Omega for the Impact Wrestling World Championship on the premiere of Rampage? Well, Josh, first let me just kind of set the table here a little bit. I knew over a year in advance that I was working towards this goal of coming back to my career as a professional wrestler, taking back what was taken from me seven years previously. Now I was, I was grinding, I was, I was pushing, I was, it was an internal struggle with myself to get myself where I wanted to be, where I needed to be, to wrestle at a level that I hold myself to. I didn't come back here just to, to slap my chest and look for my peeps and uh, do, a, do a greatest hits tour. I came back to win championships. I came back to make history. I came back to have matches that stand the test of time. So it was very satisfying. It was very satisfying to go back and win this Impact World Championship, a title that is near and dear to my heart because Impact Wrestling gave me a huge opportunity when nobody else would. So to come back and be the face of Impact Wrestling, that's a big deal for me. You are now a three-time world champion in this company. The roster was thrilled when you became Impact Wrestling world champion on that night and, and took the title away from, from Kenny Omega. Josh Alexander, 
X Division champion. You've told your story over the last number of weeks. And any athlete that wins the coveted X Division championship has the option to utilize option C whenever they'd like throughout their title reign. What was your thought process in deciding to get inside the ring with Scott Demore on that night and give up the X Division championship in order to exercise option C and challenge Christian Cage at Bound for Glory, Saturday night, October 23rd? I think I have to start and just reiterate how much the X Division means to me, how much that X Division championship meant to me. You see, I've been regarded in this company as being one of the best tag team competitors of all time. But that X Division championship meant I was arriving as a champion in singles competition. You see, I've always known I have the talent, the ability, I have what it takes to be a world champion, to be a main eventer. But it wasn't until I faced one of the greatest X Division champions of all time in Chris Saban, I defeated him, and he gave me that push I needed in the right direction. He was the one that planted option C in my ear. And, you know, as much, as, as difficult as it was to hand over that X Division championship, I know the prize waiting on the other end is that much sweeter. With that being said, and I'll stick with you for this follow-up question, if you don't mind. Knowing now, Bound for Glory is right around the corner. Do you have any regrets in giving up a sure thing, giving up the X Division championship? You're going all in, all for broke, if you lose to Christian Cage. Do you have any regrets? Not a single one. As the world champion, Canadian born, Josh Alexander also from Canada, do you see any of yourself in your challenger? Do you see any of Christian Cage in Josh Alexander? You've both had career-threatening injuries. He thought his career was over. You thought your career was over. Do you see any similarities between yourself and Josh Alexander? Well, there's the obvious. I see, I see that hunger in his eyes. I see the passion. And in my opinion, Josh has been somewhat of an overlooked talent in his career. And with all due respect, Josh, that's kind of where the similarities end because you're gonna find this out at Bound for Glory, that quite simply, there's nobody that compares to me, especially when it gets into this ring. I'm a ring general. Nobody thinks this game like I do. Like I said, that's no disrespect. That's just the way that it is. Thank you for your, your candidness. Josh, a similar question. Do you see any of yourself in Christian Cage? I mean, I, it's undeniable. I grew up, not 10 miles from where this man grew up. I was a child coming up watching pro wrestling, watching Christian Cage come down to the ring, hailing from that place, not too far from me, putting it in my mind that it was possible for me to even become a professional wrestler, that somebody from where I lived in small town Canada could climb to the top and ascend to being a world champion. That's completely true. I am a huge fan of Christian Cage, and with all due respect, Christian, I have followed your career from the get-go all the way up to this point. I'm the wild card at Bound for Glory. I'm the one that you have to watch because I know the cards you're playing with. I mentioned that you've held every incarnation of this championship belt that you now carry around your waist. As you get ready for Bound for Glory, how, how is it different for you now? How are you looking at this match now as you get ready to face Josh Alexander? Again, nine nights away, pay-per-view, the biggest event for Impact Wrestling. Bound for Glory, you know this well. Your thought process walking into this match? Well, I, I've been on this stage before. I've been on the biggest stages in this industry. I've been the challenger. I've been the champion. So I know what it takes. And I've been saying this. I've been talking to Josh about this for the last few weeks. I feel like he has a hard time channeling his emotions. And that's the difference between him and I. When you get in the deep water, it's sink or swim. And I'm a pretty damn good swimmer, Josh. And you're going to understand that pretty soon. But don't get me wrong. I have followed Josh's career. That brings me to my next question. It's interesting that you say that. He, he obviously has followed your career like much of us have. And you're saying that you're familiar with him. You've, you've watched of him. Of course I am. I, I'm, a, I'm a, at the root of all this, I'm a wrestling fan. I'm aware of everything that goes on. I've watched Josh from afar. I watched him win the X Division Championship. I watched him win the tag team titles. I know how dangerous Josh is, but there's a difference between him and I. 
And like I said, you got to act like you've been there before. And you haven't done that yet, Josh. It's interesting that you said you're familiar with Josh Alexander. If we can right now, I want to take us uh, back to a, a recent AEW All Elite Wrestling Fan Fest that you were a part of. And a very interesting question was posed a view from one of the fans in attendance. Check this out, guys. Who is someone from outside of ABW that you would love to face, like 100% would love to work with? Who, do you, who would you like to see me face? <laughs> who? I mean, I, I, I don't even know who that is. <laughs> it's a, it was a good, good-natured ribbing. Come on, just uh, have stop, a little sense. Stop, stop, it's enough, man, it's enough. You sit there and you smile and you talk and you hold your world championship. You can say whatever you want, but your words mean nothing. You're either a liar then or you're a liar now. Either way, I got no more respect for you, Christian. At Bound for Glory, you're going to find out what happens when you get in the ring with a walking weapon. All right? Done. Did I say something about his emotions and not being able to keep those in check? I think I just proved my point. In two days' time, I step foot in this ring at the main event at Bound for Glory, and I challenge for that Impact Wrestling World Championship. A lot of people have been calling this a risk. Yes, I risked my X Division Championship for this opportunity, but what's a risk? What, what is a risk when six years ago I thought I was done with professional wrestling? I thought I'd never get to take another risk again. I thought I was going to live a safe life going to a construction site every day to put food on the table for my family. And through the grace of God, or whatever you may believe, I was given an opportunity to come back to this business that I love. And I have scraped, and I have clawed, and I have taken every single risk I could along the way for every opportunity to be standing where I am right now. The number one contender for the world championship. I will take risks all day long. There, there is one risk, one risk I'm not willing to take. I will not risk sending a message to my sons at home that if they have a dream, they do anything but chase it with everything they have. So my boys can watch me this Saturday night challenge for that world championship and bring it home because every risk yields the biggest rewards. Well, Josh Alexander's been talking about what he wants to have happen Saturday night. And now it's time to hear from the world champion himself. Christian Cage is here. Yeah, the world champ is in the house, and I'm sure he's got a lot to say, because Josh Alexander sure as hell had a lot to say. Let's see what Christian's got. Christian Cage holding up the most prized possession in all of Impact Wrestling, the World Championship. Three times in his career has he held the championship here in Impact Wrestling. Josh Alexander wants that title. Josh Alexander has that chance. What's going to happen Saturday night? Who will go on to live forever? Christian's legacy is cemented. Can Josh Alexander cement his at Bound for Glory? So here we are, just two days away from Bound for Glory. 
Now, Josh, I understand the enormity of this moment. I've been in this moment. I've been in this spot many times before. I understand what it's like to be on the biggest stage because I have been on the biggest stages in this industry. I've wrestled for and won world championships. I've been in legendary matches that pay-per-views are named after. I understand what it's like to be in this moment. But Josh, I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. What it comes down to is pressure and how you deal with it. If you can keep your emotions in check and deal with that pressure, because you know, pressure, pressure is a funny, fickle thing, Josh. Some people, they crack under pressure, they break and they fade into oblivion. While others, like me, thrive under pressure and win world titles. Now, Josh, for as talented as you are, for as hungry as you are, and believe it or not, for as much as I respect you, you haven't done anything over these last few weeks that makes me think you have it in you. Christian, I, I hear all your criticism, and it sounds all too familiar. You think I can't handle the pressure. I have critics. I've heard what they've said over the years. I've been regarded as just a tag team guy, someone that isn't capable of rising to the occasion. Does this all sound familiar? Because it put a chip on my shoulder a mile wide, just like Christian Cage had on his shoulder back in 2005 when he came to Impact Wrestling in the first place. Am I right? See, you had something to prove back then. You wanted to prove that you could be a main eventer, a world champion. That's the shoes I'm standing in right now, so it's all too familiar. You want to talk about how you came back to this business to help the next generation? As long as you're cashing a check from a billionaire that owns a different company, you will never be the face of Impact Wrestling. You want to talk about handling the pressure? Understand this. That's right. That's right. At Bound for Glory, I bring that Impact World Championship home where it belongs. And I'm going to slam that forbidden door in your face and send shockwaves through this whole business to let everybody know that if they dare step through it, the man standing on the other side, the walking weapon, the Impact Wrestling World Champion, the best wrestler in the world will be standing there waiting for them. Josh, you're not even the best wrestler from Canada. In fact, you're not even the best wrestler standing in this ring right now. I am the best wrestler in the world, the Impact World Champion. And after Bound for Glory, in two days, nothing changes. Hashtag and still. You think, you think that pissing me off is going to work to your advantage, Christian? Well, let's see how that turns. And here oh. we go. Here we go. Josh Alexander is not wanting to wait, just letting his emotions take over. Another takedown by Alexander. He's going for the ankle, ankle lock. Ankle, ankle lock on Christian Cage rolls through. Here comes security. Here comes security as we're getting a taste of what's going to come Saturday night. Security's breaking them up. They don't want to know. Look, look, both of them are fighting towards that towards each other. Security can't even keep apart. It's chaos on the final impact before Mount for Glory, and they can't stop these two. Man, these two are gonna fight all the way to Vegas. And here comes the Impact Wrestling locker room, trying to break these two up. Everybody is out here right now, getting in between these two. We probably need more. Christian Cage holding up the world's championship. Christian is just taunting at Josh Alexander right now. What started out as a friendly rivalry, what started out as mutual respect between competitors, between wrestlers, between athletes, has led us to this. Battle lines have been drawn, and only one can leave as champion after Saturday night. In less than 48 hours, these two men will collide for the biggest prize 
in our sport, the Impact World Championship. Ladies and gentlemen, we will see you Saturday night. This is bound for glory. Look, look what Alexander's doing. Oh, oh and now Christian can't even use his right arm. He can't pull himself up. Oh, his arm is given out. That's it, that's it, that's it. That's it. That's it. ago the boy from Bolton started his journey from that little town on a river the man has emerged one that is led by doing not talking not tweeting no time for anything we are looking at risk and reward Josh 16 years no more reading blueprints no more handling asbestos no more measuring twice cutting and trimming you my friend on the brand new Impact World Champion. And all I can help but think about is the fact that Josh gets to bring that title home to his little boy, Jet, who's up there jumping up and down right now, up at home. Daddy did it. Lucas, your father's a hero. He did it for you. What an amazing moment. Josh Alexander, you have earned it. Right there, your new Impact World Champion, Josh Alexander, for the whole world to see. You earned this, Monk, young man. You earned this. As a new father, you can hear it in my voice. Josh, your son's coming in the ring. What a moment this has to be not just for Josh Alexander, but his entire family. Josh said that to every kid, their dad is their hero. What a moment. Soak it in, young man, soak it in. What an incredible no. moment. No other sport can do this. Yeah, I don't chant much either, but you know what? You deserve it. Look at this. Look at that boy's face. What the? What? What? Damn you, Moose! Damn you, Moose! No, damn you, Moose! Get him out of there! Get him out of there! He called the shot. No! 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 This kid is watching. Josh Alexander's son and wife just had to watch that. I have never had a loss of words. I got nothing right now. I absolutely have to You got something. Moose double crossed W. Morrissey the way he said he would. Moose has finally realized his destiny. What's going to happen next? We'll see you on Impact on Access TV. I know. I've done a lot of bad things to get to where I am today. I try to break the neck of a man I once called my best friend. Why? And that bound for glory, I probably did the worst yet. I took away everything. Josh Alexander worked his ass off to get right out of his hands. Right in front of his beautiful wife and young child. And Josh, believe me when I say I have no sympathy.
because now I have this, which makes me the greatest champion in all of professional wrestling. It doesn't matter how elite you are. It doesn't matter what tribe you're chief to. It doesn't matter if you're the boss, the man, a woman, a king, the queen. It doesn't matter what day you hold a title. Hell, you can add a new day to the week. I'm still the greatest champion in all of professional wrestling. And if you think the things I've done is vile, evil, despicable, to get to this, just imagine what I'm capable of doing to keeping it. Now this message it's for all you guys in that locker room. I know I have a huge oh, target. Oh, Dajel is here! Oh, Dajel Jett is here! Who's talking about being callous, cold-hearted? Who stripped away the moment from that man. Look at Moose hiding amongst the people. I don't think you're safe there. No. That's the last place you want to be, Moose. You don't turn your back on Suzuki. There it is. There it is. No, no. Here we go. Just exchanging blows here. Oh, wow. Damn. Joe got, he's locking it in. Can he lock it in? No. Oh, there you go. Oh, no. oh, look at this. Now they're just going at it. It's breaking down. Security finally. They were dealing with Eddie Edwards. And then the moment, the magnitude of the King's arrival. And now, look at where we stand. Let's go! This is ready to explode! Josh! 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 What are you doing? Let him go! Let him go! Josh! Josh! No, 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 no! All right, Scott! Josh! No, don't do this! Scott, this is not about the belt! I understand, Josh. My family was in there. Josh. My wife, my son, if one hair on their heads was touched, and that man called the match! Look, Josh. I understand. I've known you a long time. I've known your wife even longer. And I saw what happened. You want, want me to say that Hebner made the wrong call? He did, it was wrong. He shouldn't have called for the bell with your family in the ring. But we can't fix it up. You know, you're not gonna fix this by beating up a referee. You know how you're gonna make this right? By getting your hands on Moose. And that's why next week I made it official already. It's you, Cardone and Eddie Edwards against Moose. And if he can get two partners, great. But the fact is, stay focused. This past Saturday, you went out and proved Christian Cage and anybody else that ever questioned you wrong. You proved that you're the guy. You proved that you're the guy that I knew you were when I signed you years ago in that ring in Toronto. You're the very best. You're gonna be the face of this company. So do me one favor. After you prove Christian Cage wrong about that, don't prove him right about something. Don't prove him right about the fact that your emotions are running unchecked. Josh, Josh, you're a machine, but machines can't run on emotion. Stay focused. Stay focused and you're gonna get where you're supposed to be. Don't let your emotions control you. Take care of business. Do it for yourself. Do it for this company. And do it for Jen, Lucas, and Jet.
smart enough, but maybe not. Kick him up. Can he make a tag? There oh, it is. He saw Moose's eyes. He saw who was coming. Ankle lock already. There it is. Many say he's the rightful Impact World Champion, Josh Alexander. The moment stolen. The food ripped out of his family's mouth. And now Josh Alexander exacting some modicum of revenge. Look at the grip here. Josh Alexander's got the grip in. Oh, no, he got the ropes here. Usually Josh Alexander gets that grip in. He's going for multiple Germans. He did, but there was a tag. Look at the spring. Josh Alexander is fired up. Oh, C4 Spike, C4 Spike. You saw on the bottom of your screen, Mo Suzuki thought about jumping in and then thought again. What's going through that man's mind? Oh, clean tag Eddie Edwards there. And, and now, Ray Morse is coming like a pinball machine. Josh's low angle German suplexes are beautiful. Look at W. Morrissey caught between a rock and a hard place. Loop, thunder bomb, cover. No. And Suzuki's on with the save. Look, 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 look. Uh oh. And these exchanges right now going toe to toe. There's a palm strike. Just got in the way of that. He smiles. Yes. He's got Josh's number and he knows it. Uh oh. The lines have been drawn. Let the war begin. The volatility, the angst, the determination, the desire, all on display, all born from what the man Moose did at Bound for Glory. And now it boils over in our main event here tonight. Ooh, Moose with a running boot there. Back elbow. Rip cord. Oh, wow. OK, C4 Spike, hook it up, hook it up. C4, C4. No. no. Suzuki pushed. Oh, and look at his stroke! Transition. There it is. Got to pile on Cover! Cover! Eddie Edwards pulls down the ropes as Moose goes over to the outside. Now he flips back Cardona up and over as well. Stop kick! Eddie Edwards! Oh, no! Oh, oh that looks like Eddie's tooth fell out. His whole head. Rocked like a bobblehead. I swore I just saw Eddie's tooth shoot 15 feet in the air. Morris is setting Eddie up. Power bomb. Oh, that's a long way down. Cover. Got it. Here are your winners. W. Morrissey, Lenora Suzuki, and Moose. All right, D'Lo Brown, let's take a deep breath. Talk about what we just saw. What we just saw was complete dominance. W. Morrissey lifting Eddie Edwards up. Some Eddie Edwards' head was some 10 feet in the air, down to a power bomb. It all comes to a head for a little over two weeks at Turning Point on Impact Plus. But for now, hashtag Impact on Access TV is going off the air. We'll see you next week. Good night, everybody. You just got to be careful. You can't defend yourself. Oh, oh. So Josh's eyes? And you see the way Suzuki throws a chop? It's short, it's yeah. compact, but a lot of power on it. Overhand, open palm to the heart. Josh will come the... Uh, Josh will give it to him from the right side. Okay. A little smile here. Look, look, just watch his, watch his form. Mm. See that quick, wow! Compact, powerful swing there from, from Suzuki. And you can see that's a little more than Josh Alexander was bargaining for. Oh. Suzuki went to forearms first. Just these straight forearms. God. Look at the king grit his teeth.
tighten his neck. Josh is down. That's why Suzuki went to forearms first. He knew Josh couldn't beat him. They all know it. And now Suzuki measuring Alexander up. Nice running boot there from Josh. Followed up. Oh, oh nice. Wow. Right, Puts the back, back. that's it. Dude, Josh blocking it. He's trying to block it. He's trying to block it. Can't get to the ropes. Josh Suzuki turned goes. to the side. See, he has turned to the side. That's yes. the only thing saving Josh Alexander right now. And just as I say that, his back is now pressed against the chest. Josh He's is fading. fading. He's fading. Josh is fading. I never thought I'd see it. In the middle of an impact wrestling ring, Josh Alexander is fading. Oh, no, no. Oh, Josh, he's fighting back up. No, no. Zuki, he said it for the Gotch pile driver. He's hooking it. If he hooks this and gets Josh up. Josh has no equilibrium. This is no good. Josh, Josh is sitting, he, he's lowering his hips. hips. Yeah, yeah, he has no choice. He has no choice. Got him up. Got him up. Can he sit him down? Shaking his legs. Alexander stronger, taller. Suzuki already up. Suzuki already up, and you can see looking for something else. No, but Josh Alexander's quicker to the fight. Roll through. Ooh, needed the back of the head. Is this it? Is this it? Cover. No. No. Transition oh. angle. Look at that. Josh at felt the body on the kick out. He went to the ankle because he knew that Suzuki was going to turn over. Suzuki, the quick counter, got to back yeah, again. No, switch. Standing switch. Good control there. Look oh, at that. See that that see was that. beautifully done. Beautifully done. Almost like a slew foot in hockey. And just like that. Look at Josh, though. Josh rolled through. Got right it. back to the ankle. See, it's so locked in. Different ways to get into so many different holds. And see Suzuki rode, rotate to his back to, to relieve the relieve the pressure on the ankle. Coming up with the coming up with a forearm there. Again, right to the back. Suzuki's got it locked in this time. See how the arms are laced in, in interlaced there? Purest form. Oh, Josh with momentum. Suzuki not to be outdone once again. Pushing back on the, to the back. and again getting the back. Ooh. Ooh. What a and Suzuki takes another form. He's down. Suzuki's down. Down to an eight. Hook. Take more spike. Save more spike. That's it. Do it. He's going to do it. He's going to. Let's do it again, and let's do it right. There you see Josh's wife, D'Lo Brown, walk us through this, this history-making moment. Look at these strong, powerful forearms. Suzuki went down just for a second, and Josh Alexander was able to capture the arm, lock it in, C4 spike, and this is one of the biggest wins of Josh Alexander's career. C4 spike. Has to feel good, albeit bittersweet, for Josh Alexander. Scott Demore said that Josh Alexander needed to focus before Josh could be back into the title picture. Well, there's Josh's focus right there, his family, and what he needs to do. So the question is now posed to Mr. Scott Demore: Has Josh Alexander shown you enough? I think that question has been asked and answered. You beat Naro Suzuki in the middle of a ring, yeah, you answered the question. Josh Alexander, still the best wrestler in the world. Get the belt back. Get the Two days ago, in this ring, I beat the Japanese legend, Minoru Suzuki. I should be happy, but, but I'm not. You see, since Bound for Glory, Scott Demore has been telling me time and time again that I have to get my emotions under control. Guess what? 
I'm angry. Yes, I'm angry. I'm angry about what Moose did in front of my family in this ring at Bound for Glory. I'm angry that I'm dressed in street clothes right here at Turning Point tonight. I'm angry I'm not challenging Moose for that world championship in the main event tonight. I'm angry. I'm angry, but, but I'm focused. I am focused on you, Moose. So I'm gonna s accept what it is, and I'm gonna pull up a seat here in the front row tonight for this main event. Win, lose, or draw, Moose, I am gonna get my hands on you. And one way or another, I will have that Impact World Championship again. Making waves the past few weeks. Stronger! Oh, look at this! That's, it's Jonah, he is here! The, one of the hottest faces out there, he is here in Impact Wrestling, pummeling Josh Alexander! The self proclaimed top dog! Get a look! When Jonah emerged at New Japan Pro Wrestling's Battle in the Valley, he had a, he had a moment with Moose. Shoots Robinson just like that. And, and now Jonah's here. Another Ooh. jumping senton. Jonah is here sending a message to Josh Alexander. There's a new dog in the yard, boys. A third. Oh, wow. And now Jonah is sizing up Josh Alexander. Can't pop off. That is a fourth jumping senton, and how, how, we need some help here. How much can Josh Alexander take? Oh no, oh no. I've always been a, I've always been fond of big men who can fly. This is one of the biggest men I've ever seen fly. Oh, Josh Alexander needs help. Force. And never know who's going to show up. And Brian Hebner just got ran off. And, and, and Daniel Spencer ran off. Security's coming Security into the ring here as well. Oh! Security's down. Man down. Two it's men down. Show his face. It's like, why did they bother him? Anyone else? He just said, get out of my ring. Dude, look at Josh. Look at Josh. Oh, no. Can we get a shot at Josh Alexander? Is he spitting? He is. Ew. Oh, yes, look at that. There's internal bleeding. And, and, and Jonah is. Does Jonah see it? Oh, he sees it. He sees it. Oh. It's internal bleeding, it's his mouth and his nose. And Jonah. Jonah just walking away, leaving the carnage behind him. Folks, you gotta give us a second that we can and recoup here. And Jonah has shown up here in Impact Wrestling, and he's not. He's, he's coming back to the ring. Yet. And, oh, Jonah's up to the top again. He's gonna splash into Robbie. Oh my goodness! Dude, he could have killed Brian Hebner. Josh 
we need, we need help here. We need help What are Jonah's intentions here in Impact Wrestling? I mean, everyone is vying to be a champion. Some people will go to far different lengths than others. We'll try to get a word on Josh Alexander's condition as the right night rolls on, but we have, we found our turning point. We've hit our violent moment. Now, let's get full metal mayhem. Let's, let's not wait. do this. This is what Josh has wanted. These two have been pulled apart time and time again. In two nights, there'll be no pulling apart. Here we go. Look over the angle right now. Got the angle locked in. And Jonah's trying to create space, and Josh out. Josh showed him. that he can get Jonah down. Josh showed that just for a second, just for a mere second, he can get that ankle lock. What if he gets it in two nights? And security's out here trying to break it up, but it's, there's nothing keeping these two men apart. It's going to take far more than that. Look at the fear on the face of the security guards. What is this going to be like in two nights when there is no security to keep them apart? It's just going to be these two men ripping each other apart. Move the ring out of the way so these two can fight in two nights at Hard to Kill. Josh Alexander biting, Jonah clawing. These two men filled with oh. venom and vinegar. Jonah breaking free and just laying everyone to where he's off. Oh. Now, Jonah Sack. launching Josh Alexander. Send oh. Remember the internal injuries that Alexander suffered when Jonah debuted here in Impact. Oh, there we go, showing those bandages. There's no way Josh Alexander is 100% healed. Josh does not care. No, right now, and, and oh, to the back! Oh. Whatever healing was done. It's been erased. It is reverse. It has been erased big time. What, what's, what's, what's Jonah doing? Jonah is making sure that Josh Alexander remembers hard to kill. Will he make it? Sliding the table in, right in between Josh Alexander's eyes. And Jonah is trying to send a message. A loud, clear message. Josh Alexander. Oh, right into those ribs. The edge of the table again to those Josh ribs. Try to block the table, and Jonah took advantage. This tells me that there is a mind behind the monster. And that's Jonah, even worse. Jonah's very calculated. He knows exactly what he's doing. Whatever Jonah's reason for being here. Right now, Jonah is starting to set it up for exactly how he wants it to go down. There's, I, I don't even, Josh Young's on, on the table. Uh-oh, oh, Jonah's going to the top. Here we go. Oh, no. Jonah rock and Jonah roll if this Big behemoth comes off of the... Oh, God! Two days away from hard to kill, and Jonah is trying to prove that he can kill Josh Alexander. Chaos. Destruction. Carnage. Jonah. Oh! Oh! They're going at it here in Texas. Look at these shots. Oh! Uh oh! Jonah's not done. Powerball. Trying to stack him up. Here's the cover. Alexander somehow found a way to kick out. Wow, what are we witnessing here right now? 
Look at this clothesline inside out. Josh Alexander, 360. But Josh Alexander still standing. And now straight headbutts oh. for the top dog. Oh! And keeping Alexander close by the headgear. Pulls him into position. Suplex. Brainbuster! That's it. That has got to be it. Covered by Jonah. Alexander won't quit. I thought I took a glance and blow this. I believe Josh Alexander has been busted open by those headbutts. Yes, right. there we go. Look You're at this. Right. He is busted open from those headbutts from, from Jonah. Watch this one more time. Jonah with some extra force here on the Brain Buster. Somehow, Josh Alexander is still in this match, but how much longer? Yeah, right now, you can see his, his power is, is, is dwindling right now. It, it looks like it looks like Joan is going to the top to, 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 to put an exclamation point to the end of this sentence. Alexander is in a bad way. Wait a minute, wait a minute. The walking weapon is back up. He's the ankle lock on him. The injured left ankle. Three, three, four. It has to break before the count of five or he would have been disqualified. And now Joan is trapped in a bad place. Oh, and another headbutt. Oh, Jonah's up. Jonah's trying to get his bearings. He's going to the top. Good God, no. No oh, way. Oh, my goodness. Oh, Lord. And a big forearm by Alexander. Jonah oh, takes down Jonah. Oh, combo, he's going. Can he hook the No door? freaking way. No, no, no. Now with damage ribs. did enough to keep Alexander away, but now right to the face. Look at Alexander. Oh, wow. He's got to calm down. He's got to get his emotions in check. He could have gotten disqualified. Now back to the ankle. Right back in. He locked in deep, sitting in. Chin on the ankle, pushing even harder. Jonah's got nowhere to go. Oh, he's going to tap. The, Jonah, the ankle lock in deep. And you see Josh is pulling Jonah back up. There it is. Alexander. Oh, wait a minute, took a no. man off his friend of the ankle lock. Ankle lock. Vincent felt this last week. Under no more is gonna feel it and no surrender. Oh my god. And he is not letting go. The big man, Big Con, is fighting for everything. But Josh Alexander, that's it. That's it. Your winner, the walking weapon, Josh Alexander. And the frustration is oozing out of the walking weapon. He is sick and tired of everything being thrown in his path, of every brick wall built up in front of him. Listen, the official's trying to get Alexander to stop here. The match is over. Alexander has got to release Khan. Come on now. I get his frustration, I know, but at some point, you got to let go. You got to focus your target on honor no more, Josh. Focus your anger and rage. Whoa, 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 wait a minute, this is impact oh. security. Josh Alexander is putting his hands on right now. They're doing now. their job, they're just doing no, their no, no, job. No, no, no. Josh, don't do this, don't do this. And there's Scott Demore. Scott Demore is trying to stop the oh. Oh, spike. Oh, my God.
Well, I guess we finally got that out of the way. So look, Josh, I didn't come out here to talk about emotions in check. I didn't come out here to talk about the World Championship, to be quite honest. I certainly didn't come out here to get knocked out on my ass. What I came out here for, Josh, was just to reminisce a little bit. Look, there's a lot of water under the bridge between us. I remember when I met you for the first time. Team Canada's Johnny Devine brought you to my dojo. You're just a wet behind the ears kid. But I watched you grow into a man. I watched you come up the independent circuit. And I watched it get ripped away from you with a career-ending injury that you then overcame and came back better than ever. And I remember sitting in a little Greek pizzeria on the Danforth in Toronto with one of my best friends in the whole world when, with a little trepidation in her voice, she told me she met a new guy and that he was the one and we know that was your wife, Jen, and we know she was talking about you. And when you and Jen got married, I was standing there clapping, cheering with a tear in my freaking eye, Josh, because you made her happy, and I was happy for both of you. And Josh, I've been there for just about every big event in your life, and standing here today, in this ring, just me and you. Tell me this isn't deja vu, man. Because it was just less than three years ago we stood in a ring much like this one. And I talked about how the entire wrestling world was a buzz. And they were talking about how the walking weapon was the hottest free agent in the business. And I said, no, he's not. Because I said he's not a free agent anymore because I picked up papers much like this one, except it was a three-year contract with this company. And I said, you weren't going to be the greatest wrestler nobody ever heard of anymore. You were going to be an impact wrestling star. And do you remember what you said to me then? It wasn't thank you. It was even better. You said you didn't just sign the hottest free agent in wrestling. You signed your future world champion. And damn it, Josh, you became that. And we made it all happen right here at Impact Wrestling. And we've done it together. And my question is, what the hell more do you want, Josh? What more do I want, Scott? Screw the Corporate BS. I don't need this EVP. I need my coach. I need the guy that I care. The one that supported me. And if you're ready to be that guy, Scott, I can see you again when I get one. Right? I am not okay going down in history books as the only champion in this company's history that never even had the time to put the belt around his waist. I have worked too damn hard and too long to let everything I've worked for be here right now as it slipped through my fingers. Every time I close my eyes, all I see is my wife and son in tears laying over top of me after we ripped that championship out of my hand. The fact is, I am going to be a world champion. I am going to be the face of this company. I'm going to be the flag bearer that carries this company to heights it has never reached before. I'm going to win that championship for my friends, for my family, for the fans that supported me to prove that every sacrifice was worth it. I just, I just want to see the look on my son Jeff's face when I bring that belt home to him. And Josh, that's what I want. That's what everybody here wants. That's 
That's the goal, Josh! And it's gonna happen! But it's a process! Shut up! Forget it! I do not want to hear your process! I'm done hearing your process, Scott! Let me make this clear from a friend to a friend! I am done with the process! If you don't give me my well earned Impact World Championship rematch, you quite possibly could be looking at the soon to be hottest free agent in pro wrestling. Okay, look, look, not, not like this, this and, and I'm not, not doing, doing this here. I'm sorry, Josh, but you're out of line. And you're leaving me no choice, Josh. That's it, you're out of the match and no surrender. And until we get this sorted out, until you get straight, I'm sorry, Josh, I'm sending you home. Home, home, home. Scott, after all this time, you still don't get it. I am home! Impact Wrestling is my home. The only place I want to be. So if you're going to get me out of this damn ring, you are going to have to drag me out of this ring. Josh, I have a world of respect for you. Josh, I love you. And I'll tell you what, I'm not dragging you out of this ring or anywhere else because I know you have it in you to be professional about this. So do what's right, tip your hat to these fans, and then, till this is sorted, you're going home. Wait a minute, that, that's Josh Alexander! Well, oh! Are you kidding me, Josh? Oh, 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 the C4 oh. spike to Moose! Josh Alexander just planted the Impact World Champion. I mean, what the hell is he doing here? He's gone. I didn't even know he worked here anymore. Did he go over Scott Demore's head? He has been sent home. Hey, the last time I was in this ring, Scott Demore stood eye to eye with me and he sent me home. Scott Demore said I need to keep my emotions in check time and time again. I don't think I'm ever gonna agree that my emotions were the problem. But he said, he said I need to go home until we get all this sorted out. And in hindsight, in hindsight I can say right there, Scott was right to send me home. No, he was. Not only did I get to spend some well, needed time with my family, <sighs> recharge. But I don't know if uh, Scott took it into consideration, but sending me home to Toronto put me about a mile away from Anthem corporate office. So I went down there and I sorted everything out. In my hand, I hold a signed multi-year contract with Impact Wrestling! The 
But that's not all I sorted out, Moose. See, I got another contract right here. This is a contract for the main event of Rebellion. Moose against Josh Alexander. One-on-one. -on -one. And you are looking at the next Impact World Champion. I can look forward to Rebellion. I can look forward to Moose. I can look forward to that Impact World Championship on April 23rd. Because the contract is signed, Gia. <laughs> I mean, at least my half of the contract is signed. And I've heard that Scott Demore has given Moose until the end of tonight to sign his half of the contract. And I'm sure he's gonna do it in the most dramatic way possible. So I'm gonna make sure I'm gonna keep some eyes in the back of my head, my head on a swivel, because I know Moose is gonna do whatever he can to get Nedge up on me, because he knows at Rebellion, his time's up. be here as much as you don't want me here. But I need you to do me a favor. You see, I need to deliver this by the end of the night and the Anthem office is closing it. I figured since you live right down the street, I might as well drop it off to you so you could drop it off in the Anthem office in the morning. Oh, it's okay, baby. Hey, little man. You know who I am? It's okay, baby. I'm your dad's friend from work. Can you do me a favor and deliver a message for me? Tell your dad Moose said hi, okay? Come on, let's go. I thought I knew everything Moose was capable of. I thought I was ready. Cause not even I thought Moose was stupid enough to do what he did last week. Moose, Moose, there are certain lines you do not cross and you've crossed them. You went to my house, forced your way through my front door and you intimidated my wife and my child, my family. There's no going back from any of that, Moose. If I was at my tipping point for the last few months since Bound for Glory, Moose, you have pushed me over the damn edge. <laughs> Moose, Moose, as a professional wrestler right now, I am more motivated than ever to kick your ass, but I am left here standing as a husband and in father, and all I feel is pain, loss, and disappointment. But I'm gonna do the only thing I know how, Moose. On April 23rd at Rebellion, I am gonna make sure that you feel pain. I'm gonna make sure that you feel loss. I'm gonna make sure you feel disappointment because I'm gonna take the only thing that matters to you in this world and it's not a someone it's a something I'm taking that impact world championship and seeing as you have no problem <laughs> moose seeing as you have no problem stepping up to my home. Understand that Impact Wrestling is my damn home. So come on down, I left the door open. Come on. I have to say, Ray Walt, this is a surprise. The Impact World Champion Moose is here. 
See, Josh, I understand why you're so angry. Because just last week, you failed to protect your family. And I hate to be a bearer of bad news, but at Rebellion, you're going to fail to get your hands on this. Besides, you should be thankful that I'm a great human being. Because after I beat you at Rebellion, I might just take another trip to your home. And show your son, Jack, what a true role model is. And I promise you, I won't fail him like you. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, and Josh Alexander going after Moose, and this is what Moose wanted. Moose trying to stir things up for Alexander, and now he's paying for it. He's bending in, but this is a line that Josh Alexander did not ever want Moose to cross, and now he's going to make Moose pay. And the steal, and now look at Alexander. Alexander all over the Impact World Champion. Moose knows, Moose knows that the emotions of Josh Alexander are on edge at any moment. He's trying to bait this out of Josh Alexander. Josh, I understand your emotions. Scott, he went it. to it's my house, my home, the front door. He rung the doorbell, he went in, and he intimidated my wife and my son. I would have thrown him over that balcony if Fulton didn't pull me off. Look, I get it. Did you ever think that maybe Fulton did you a favor, <laughs> Josh? Look, you're pissed. I get it. I agree. Nobody's going to dispute. Moose crossed the line when he went to your house, no question. But think about this. You're less than a month away from getting a chance to make this all right, from rebellion and getting a chance to win the world's championship back, Josh. Look, remember, I sent you home so you could get no, focused, no, no, no. so you could get your emotions. Scott, my emotions are in check. As long as he stays away from my family. Look, before you go any further, Moose isn't here. I sent him home. No. Scott, we are not doing this thing where you send him home and I have to wait till rebellion. No, that, that, that's actually not what I'm doing, Josh. I've called a meeting for the Anthem board and I'm gonna recommend stripping him of the world championship and terminating him. Like, I, I get it, you're upset. I knew Jen before you even married to her. I understand, Scott, Josh. You, you don't get to say you understand. He didn't go to your house. He didn't kneel down and look into your son's eyes. That is not your wife. He cut in half with a spear. I need Moose in that ring. As much as I want to be Impact World Champion, I need to be the guy that takes it from Moose. I got, I got you. Moose better be paying attention to what happens tonight. I would like to introduce you to my attorney. He will be reading 
my public apology. My name is R.D. Evans, Barrister R.D. Evans, Moose's longtime attorney. And at this time, I ask that you please show some uncharacteristic respect for this important message. concern, namely Josh Alexander and the Josh Alexander family. After much consideration and after consultation with this legal team, with Impact Wrestling Management, and with a certified sensitivity training firm, my client, professionally known as Moose, currently in his first reign as Impact World Champion, now understands that his actions have exceeded the bounds of appropriate professional... Shut up! R.D., I'm sorry. This isn't sincere enough. If we're gonna do this, we're gonna do this right. Hold this. I have to admit, what I've done the last few weeks has been low, and nobody's family deserves to go through what I've put Josh's family through. So you know what, Scott? You're right. Josh deserves a sincere apology, and I'm gonna give it to him. Josh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for showing all these people how much of a loser you are. I'm sorry for exposing you for not being a protector to your wife. I'm sorry for exposing you for not being a role model to your kids. No, I'm not done yet. Just step aside, I'm not done. You know what I'm not sorry for, Josh? Whooping your ass at Bound for Glory. Being the Impact World Champion, the face of this company. You walk around calling yourself the walking weapon, the face of Impact Wrestling. And hell, You can't even protect your damn family. You know what I'm not sorry for? What I'm gonna do to you in just two days. Cause I plan on hurting you and sending your sorry ass home for longer than a month. And Josh, I know you're back there listening to me. So pay close attention to me. Look into these eyes. Because at Rebellion, after I beat you, you're going to bend to your knees and beg me to come home and show your pitiful wife and your pitiful kids what a real man looks like. Josh Alexander is here in the impact zone. 
surveying the security in front of him. That look on Alexander's eyes. He doesn't Whoa. care. And Scott said to security not to let anybody else other than Moose down that ramp. Oh. But I don't know if they'll have a choice. Josh and Moose stand face to face. I know Alexander and Moose going at it. And here it is for months. Moose has tried to prey on the emotions of Josh Alexander, but Josh has withstood it all. He is here. I'm throwing his lawyer in the way, and now Moose back after Alexander. Doing anything he can to take advantage of the walking weapon like he's done all along. Oh, and a kick right to the face, and Alexander laying into the Impact World Champion. Months and months of frustration coming out of Josh Alexander. Oh, driven down by Moose. Could this be the sight and rebellion? Could Moose destroy the no. dreams of Josh Alexander? He doesn't just want to beat Josh Alexander. He wants to punish Josh Alexander, make an example of Josh Alexander. And now Moose rearranging a table here at ringside. Alexander's been taken down by the Impact World Champion. Oh, no, 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 not this, not this. Alexander sees his fate right in front of him, he's trying to fighting, block it. Fighting with everything he's got. He Alexander's plans, come this far. Yes, he plans to make it to Rebellion. And come home with that Impact World Championship. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. One comes, it's the C4 spike oh. from the walking weapon into the cover here, but Moose knows where he is, and the foot hits the rope just in the nick of time.
Somehow Alexander is not deterred. Continues in this fight. He has to be. Oh, oh one and another C4 spike, but Moose able to keep him at bay. Moose had just enough time to catch some air. Oh, God! Oh, he's biting Alexander. Look at the teeth. A lot of lean into by the official. It is the main event of this pay-per-view rebellion. Six months in the making this match. We are going to have a damn winner tonight. That shows you what Moose is willing to do to retain his world championship. We talked about the gas tank, the endurance of Josh Alexander, and he's showing it right now, somehow kicking out of that huge top rope superplex. But now, Moose wants to line this one up to shut it down. Oh, now Moose is going for the spear. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What the heck? Oh my God! Oh my God! Styles clash! What? Styles clash! You gotta be kidding me! Right into the ankle lock goes Josh Alexander. Moose in a bad, bad way. Alexander with the ankle lock. The entire audience here in Poughkeepsie screaming for Moose to tap out, but the champ somehow, some way, is holding on for dear life. Moose trying to scramble. Josh Alexander fighting him at every turn. Moose desperate to get to a rope, desperate to save his world championship as he pulls himself into the corner and, and gonna makes it. Break it. That's gonna break the submission and rips off the turnbuckle pad in the process. Oh, and a kick low, a kick low. The official was dealing with the turnbuckle pad and didn't see it. Moose knew exactly what he was doing. That's the kind of champion Moose is, as if we had any doubt heading into tonight. Oh, oh the God. neck, the surgically repaired neck into the exposed turnbuckle. Head and neck, nothing to protect him, and here we Spear. go! Spear! A valiant effort from the walking weapon, but it Josh Alexander just kicked out a Moose's spear never before, and now another exposed turnbuckle. And I think it might just have the walking weapon's name on it. Oh, God, not this. Uh, uh, Moose is thinking about a buckle bomb. The surgically repaired neck. Oh, God! This is getting uncomfortable. Oh, right about the spear was blocked. A knee right to the skull of Moose, and you saw Josh shooting a look to his family, reminding himself just what he's fighting and who he's fighting for. Trying to get Moose back up. Alexander will quit. Look at the chin. Look at the chin. Ladies and gentlemen,
gentlemen, here is your winner, Hindu Impact Wrestling Champion, the walking weapon, Josh Alexander. For family, for Impact Wrestling, for the championship, Josh Alexander did it. After months and months of emotional and psychological torture at the behest of the world champion Moose, Josh Alexander can look his wife, look his son in the eye and say, I did it. We did it. <laughs> I look at Jack. Look what daddy did. Daddy's champion. A 17 year mission snatched away in the blink of an eye. Have the courage to start all over again and prove who you are. Congratulations to the new